Okay, so you're thinking that you might want to try out apotherapy for various reasons. So I have been helping people since about 2013 when I first uh, went to my very first American Apotherapy Society. Nowadays, I help people both in person at my clinic here in Ashland or um, I, I actually help people quite a bit over Zoom, which is a new thing. And it's a little bit different to try to teach people how to sting themselves over Zoom. But it is becoming one of my specialties. Even when I work with people um, in person, I'm trying to get them to learn how to sting themselves. So in that first original appointment, we kind of go through a lot of questions. It usually takes us at least an hour and it does include a test sting. One of the things we talk about is um, what was it like the night, the last time you got stung? And we talk about what a normal reaction looks like. And we go through just the different procedures of what it will be like when you sting yourself or when I sting you. Um, one of the questions, of course, that comes up is, and it's a good one, is if it hurts. And I'm here to tell you that definitely it does. So even as a beekeeper of many, many years, like 20 or so, um, it still hurts. Okay, so now you're getting ready for the testing. And I'm going to sting you. It's different than what you're going to hear when I sting myself. When I sting you, I say things like, you got this, healing comes from within, look at all of the good guys, they're all coming to the site, the white blood cells, the T cells, we're making blood, we are becoming lighter, you are connected, your body is healing, you are healing, we are healing just from within, it's happening right now, all of the good guys, they're all coming to the site, got this. Your body is beautiful and your body knows exactly what to do. And it's healing right now. Just no pain, no gain. It's all right. You got to just, you know, tough it out. You got this. Okay. Now that is in contrast to when I sting myself. It's a little bit of a different type of experience. So, I'm gonna go ahead. I actually have this like knee injury going on right now because when I was skiing, this guy kind of like, anyways, me and my knees went like, Meh. and um, so I stung it the last couple nights. It's definitely um, a little bit sore, um, but we're it's a deep wound. We gotta get in there. We gotta get like deep into the cartilage. And so I'm gonna just kind of keep stinging it. And so I'm gonna show you what I do. Are you ready? Okay, so when they usually live, like um, the bees usually come to me and I usually then take them either with my hands or with a Ziploc bag. Then they go into a ball jar with a screen, with a sprout screen. And they live there with a little bit of honey on top and a tiny bit of water. And they live there until I'm working with my clients. A lot of times they just sort of hang out in the kitchen with me. I transfer them back into a plastic bag. Um, obviously they can't live in this plastic bag for very long, but it really works pretty great for me because then I'm able to see what I'm doing. I can encourage the bees to come all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And then I handle them with my fingers and they're head first right here so then their stinger is right there at my nail so they can't sting me and i just think the whole experience is just a little bit um it, it's just you know working with me and my energy and my fingers instead of working with like metal okay so um i have my my bag here with me and here is a bee and i'm gonna try to encourage it to go down to the bottom. So it's so easy with just this plastic bag because then I can just move her and I'll hold her there. So here she is here. And then I'm going to grab her and then we're gonna see if I can switch the camera a little bit. Oh, this is pretty good. Let's do it again. 
Here we go, yo. Here she is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingers. Sometimes it works pretty good. Sometimes I accidentally sting myself. Okay, so here we go. So we're either gonna surround the dragon or we're going to attack the dragon. You can see I've stung myself here and here. I'm gonna go for like right here, kind of right in between the two um, right now, right? She is. <laughs> okay, and we're ready. Oh yeah, there she goes. She stings me. I just let her hold on to my hand for a moment here. And okay, see now. Whoo, whoo, whoo. Oh yeah, that first second wasn't so bad, and now here she comes. And you can kind of feel it. It's kind of going all around. And yeah, we can just breathe through this. No problem. Oh, look at that. My hair came undone. <gasps> you know. Whew. Actually, this one's not so bad. It's kind of interesting. I mean, it is true. Like, based on their age, if um, they are younger or older, that some of the pain kind of, um, the, uh, the peptide for the pain actually comes in a little bit uh, either like right there in the beginning, middle, or end based on their on their age. This one is a, is a tiny bit mild, but you can kind of start to see. So are we going to be able to see? I can, I'm just gonna let her go. She just, uh, she'll probably just fly to the window. A lot of times they just sort of hang out here with me. See, here she is. I'll just let her stay. I'm just gonna grab the camera. Can you see it? Oh yeah, you can. So a lot of times even with the naked eye, you can see it pulsating. I don't know if you can see that right there. Yeah. So there it is. And you can even see a little bit how there's just a bit of a ring around it. And a lot of times, just a very normal reaction will be that it'll be about the size of like a dime. And then... Um, it kind of spreads itself out, and um, then I usually have the person send me a picture the next day to tell me how it's going. Okay, here she is. She's still hanging out right here with me. So I'm going to put her outside and end this video. But yeah, this one was kind of mild. I was hoping to just be like, ouch, that hurt. But this one's it's pretty good. Okay.